guys, it's me, Christy Lee, and today is Saturday. I have a day off of work, and I was trying to decide whether I was going to go mushroom hunting today, do some gardening, or do a different type of video. I think I'm going to take advantage and go ahead and try to mushroom hunt, though we haven't had a bunch of rain over the last week or so, so I'm, I may not see a lot, but I still enjoy the hunt. And then later this evening, I'll probably do some gardening-related stuff. And then also I stuck a poll up asking you guys whether you'd wanted to see a mushroom hunting video or a, a sit down talk video about some something more personal. Uh, there's been a lot on my mind, some things that I've never shared with you guys really on YouTube um, that I kind of feel I need to talk about just for myself to get it out. It's kind of just like festering in there um, and I truly believe that when you talk about things it helps. Um, so. Maybe that will come next, but today we're gonna do a mushroom hunting video. It's about a 45 minute drive from here. So I will see you when I get there. Well guys, I made it out here. Unfortunately, it's extremely dry and there's spiders everywhere. I don't think it's rained at all. So it's very crispy and crunchy out here. Not good for mushroom hunting. Also, it's an extremely busy day at the park. Lots of campers, lots of people. Um, but I'm not gonna give up. We'll go check our normal spots. Everything's probably gonna be dry. We'll see. First living mushroom so far. <laughs> you little guy. Aren't you so cute? And I just spotted some black trumpets. Can you see them? No, of course not. A little dry. A little dry. Just a quick little tip. Um, something I found is that if you're out looking for black trumpets, like I am right now, this is my black trumpet spot, I've noticed in a couple different places that they really like to be near these they're not saw palmetto palms because they don't have the saw tooth on them i'll show you they don't have saw teeth they look like this but they really seem to like to grow at the base or around these so far not too bad i am leaving some behind and this is actually right under a magnolia tree and then there's an oak and i've just been pulling back the leaves and finding more and more i've heard that black trumpets are very rare i don't think that's true i think it's just difficult to find them oh there's a wasp staring me down oh boy um it's really difficult to find these guys because they blend in so well but here they are. I have a nice little collection today. Beautiful. I'm not sure what this is. What's going on here? I've never seen that before. It's kind of like on the leaves and stuff around here. Oh, I see one. I see one. Can you see it? No. So these looked like black trumpets, but I'm not sure that they are. Actually, there's no hole in there, so it can't be. What are they? Okay. Finally pulled myself away from my black trumpet spot. I didn't want to because I may not find any other edible mushrooms today, but I've probably been over there for about an hour and there's another spot all the way on the other side of the park that I want to visit today before I leave. So if I see anything interesting along the way, I will turn on the camera and share with you guys. I just spotted something here off the trail. Hmm. 
kind of looks like an old man of the woods, but I don't know. Oop. I think so. Hmm. Not sure that it's still any good. Well, it feels firm. We'll take it. Such a beautiful park. Beautiful trails. Hidden away behind an apartment building. This park is where I found my first black trumpet mushrooms. My first Indian ghost pipe plant. My first, I think they were cinnabar chanterelles. And the first golden chanterelles. Anybody know what kind of tree that is? It's up in little things right there. Look at these little guys. Mm. Not sure what that was, but it smells pretty good. Hands are very sticky where I touched it. Looks like we came at the perfect time for some new oysters. If there's no bugs. So pretty. Check out the size of this rustler. That's pretty big. That's a goner already. That would have been a nice one. I've heard you can eat these. They usually have red tops. And then if they have pink stipes like this, I've heard you can eat them. Something else a little strange. I don't want to pick it because I don't want to ruin anything. It's a little squishy. Hmm. Okay, these were here. So what I just showed you, this is what it turns into, I guess. Because last week, there's another one of them nubs here. And this is here, not, not last week, it's been two weeks. Um, I think this may be in the chicken of the woods family. <sighs> it doesn't smell great. Um, browns immediately after touching. There's a texture. Taking photos from a group here. But I'm pretty sure this is related. The chicken of the woods. I wish I knew for sure, like on the spot, because I feel like I would probably try some. I might be a little weirded out by it. Here's a, <clears throat> looks like it was another Russa, a red or yellow. Can't believe the stalks on these things, they're massive. I'm going to explore this area a little bit. I am just before my chanterelle spot, so pacing myself. Maybe I'll find some more. Well, here's my chanterelle spot, and they are all dried up. There's only like three. And just not enough rain. Okay guys, back in the car. I've been out here for about three, three and a half hours. Didn't see a whole lot. I did find some things you guys saw. Um, I made the mistake that I often make and I didn't eat before I came out here and I'm feeling very weak now. So I'm gonna go and get something to eat. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I did check the poll and some of you are interested in seeing a more personal video. So look forward to seeing that in the coming
days, hopefully. Maybe weeks. I don't know. Depends on when I get some alone time. But thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little mushroom forge that we had today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.